Hey, what's up guys, Mario back again with our YouTube video. Today's video, guys, I am gonna talk about Ethermon, but I'm gonna talk about what ways you can level up your Ethermon so you can increase the value of your Ethermon NFT. Remember guys, NFTs are assets. The higher level you, you increase your Ethermon uh, characters, the more valuable your NFT is gonna be worth so you could sell it and create income on the OpenSea platform. Now. The problem is there's three levels and a lot of people don't understand that. There's the on-chain level, there's the off-chain level, and there's the central level, which all make a difference depending on how you battle and train your Ethermon NFT. So in this video, guys, I'm going to cover all those details, guys, and how you could uh, increase the levels depending on your goal and what you want to do specifically. Uh, so I'll go over those details in this, in this video. If you have any questions, guys, don't forget to ask down below in the YouTube comments. And also don't forget to support this channel by smashing that like button. I do appreciate that, guys. And also subscribe down below in the YouTube channel. I do post videos every single week talking about Ethermon, NFTs, uh, stocks. You don't want to miss my next video. Trust me, guys. So let me share my screen and let's get started. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do really quickly, guys, I'm just going to share my screen. I am actually already logged in here in the Ethermon platform. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys where people get confused. So I'm going to go to my collection. I do have 28 Ethermon NFTs. Uh, some are Matic, meaning they are on-chain, and some are off-chain, which are, they do not belong in the, in, in the I guess, in the Matic, uh, uh, you can say blockchain, so you cannot sell them. They only belong here. So that's where things kind of get a little bit tricky. So as you guys can see right here, you see on-chain level one, on-chain level one, um, you know, so which actually this, these are off-chain, uh, these are off-chain um, Ethermon. So the reason why I'm not exactly sure why it even says on-chain level one, but this is, should be an off-chain uh, Ethermon. So if you guys can see right here, it says this is an off-chain Mon which lives on our server. Off-chain Mons can join battles and gain experience, but they won't be able to transfer or lay eggs. So that's the first thing I want to mention. So now the other thing that I want to mention now, you can see these Matic ones, these Matic, these Matic either mounts, you're able to actually transfer them onto the Matic network. Uh, and these are actually the ones that you could actually build over time, train over time and increase their uh, on-chain level. Uh, so you're actually able to sell them on OpenSea. So you guys can see, sell my Matic either mount on OpenSea. So these ones, you could do that. Now these are Matic. So I want to kind of like talk about that, but there's more, you know, there, then we have these other ones. Actually, I did purchase these uh, as well, but these ones are actually, um, they're also Matic Ethermon. And again, sell my Ethermon Ethermon on OpenSea. Uh, and again, I could sell these also on the OpenSea and, and, and transfer them. So now what I'm going to go over is how to tell what level your Ethermon are the best way and easiest way to do that is to log in to OpenSea. OpenSea is the biggest uh, NFT, uh, uh, pretty much, uh, yeah, man, NFT marketplace right now. Uh, so I, this is my NFT, uh, this is my OpenSea account. And, I, and again, the same NFTs or same, um, uh, I guess you could say, Ethermon you saw in my collections on their Ethermon website. Now you can see the one, you can see them here. These are all Matic. So the way to know how you know what level your ethermon are is literally the easiest way is actually by looking at them on OpenSea. now i'm going to use hamster as a great example because i have been battling and have been trading hamster both on the central land and also on the ethermon 2d battle uh and the way to know what level is your ethermon is by going here you know go to levels so you'll see here dcl dcl means the central land level um, and here, uh, you will see, uh, our chain level of 21 and then you will see on chain level of one. So this on chain level of one is actually what most people see, uh, when they actually click on my collections. So I'm going to go straight to hamster. Where is hamster? Uh, there it is. See level one on chain level one. So that's where people get confused because a lot of people will be battling their ether mind. Like, Hey man, what's going on with my ether mind? Why my level's not going up, et cetera, et cetera. It's because they're looking at on-chain level. Now, I believe the on-chain level is the level that Ethermont used to be when they were in the Ethereum uh, blockchain. 
but because of the gas fees and things like that, uh, they started using they started using the Matic uh, blockchain, which is a lot more affordable. Which the the uh, gas fees are pretty much zero, which is pretty awesome. Because <clears throat> you know who wants to pay uh, twenty thirty dollars just to uh, just in gas fees just to buy a twenty thirty dollar Ethermont NFT? It just doesn't make any sense. Or buying a dollar Ethermont NFT and paying like twenty dollars on in gas fees doesn't make any sense. So that's the reason why. So when you do battle here, now I'm going to give you, show you an example. Uh, these are my Ethermon that I already have. So this is Hamster actually. Now it is level 28, off chain level 28. Uh, now it hasn't updated, fully updated here on, on the uh, OpenSea. But here you'll see the uh, outdated level, which it says um, level, let's see, off chain level uh, 21. But it should be 28 because, you know, but it does take a couple of days to upload. So right now, because I'm battling, so the way to increase the level, off-chain level of your Ethermon is by battling in 2D on Ethermon.io. This is the only way to increase the level. So every time you battle, win or lose, you know, you, you gain experience points and those experience points move up the level and increase the level of your, 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 your NFT, which again, they're stronger. So you can battle and win, um, you know, and again, this point, in this case, you can win Iman, you know, the more uh, battles you win, which is pretty awesome. So that is one way you could increase the level. Now the second one, and actually I'm going to show you the, the example of uh, actually OpenSea here, is the Central Land. Uh, the Central Land, um, I actually been training this character right here, this NFT right here. Uh, I, I I call it Sia Furball because <laughs> it, it looks like one of the you know celebrities, which is very interesting. But if, if you look at the level, you see the Central Level Eleven. So this is a central land level. So what I'm going to do now really quickly, I am going to log in to the central land and show you guys what I mean by that. So I'm going to log in really, really quickly. And the reason why this is important, guys, because if you do train your Ethermon and you increase the level of your Ethermon, they're going to be stronger, you know, especially if you are trying to, you know, battle and collect silver tickets on the central land, battle and collect uh, marks, in the central land, you know, the higher the level you have your Ethermon, the stronger they're going to be and the faster they're going to win battles. Uh, because in the, the central land platform right now, the grassland Ethermon, they're actually only like level 10 max. So you have an Ethermon that's level, uh, level, level 11, level 16, level 17. It's really, really simple actually to win, win a battle. You know, you could literally win a battle just by using the throw attack. And one, and one or two, you win that, that, that fight. And you could collect those, you know, silver tickets, those marks, um, which, you know, of course, you know, those could be later on exchange for future, future things, whether it be, you know, energy and things like that. Uh, so it's very, very important, guys. And of course, that it does increase the value of your Ethermon because the higher the level they are, the stronger they are, uh, you know, the, the, the higher power they're going to have, et cetera. So I'm going to show you guys right here, this example here. So right now, I just logged into the central end, and I wanted to show you guys how this looks. So uh, let, me, uh, let me just walk around for a little bit. Let us wait for it to load. Um, I do want to mention that I am recording, and the central end does use a lot of bandwidth. So uh, because I'm recording and, using, and I'm logged into the central end, it does take a while to load up, but uh, should be a couple more seconds. Here you go, pretty much. So what I wanna show you guys is this really quick. So here on the left side, you guys see this 95. These are silver trick tickets that I accumulated by battling my, my, by training and battling my Ethermont NFT in the central land. Uh, and you see right here, uh, 564, these are marks, which in the future, be, they're gonna be exchanged for, you're gonna be able to exchange them for energy and other things, uh, or upgrading your Ethermon, things like that which is pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. So uh, now waiting for it to log in. Okay, so it's finally logged in. So I wanna show you guys this really quick. So right here, um, if you click right here, you see the level here, level one. This is the level, this knob is level one in the central line, okay? So, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to CF furlough because I've been training CF furlough uh, in the central line, I have been battling a lot and it's at a very, very high level. Right now, I'm already clicked on it. Now you see that it's level 21. So I do want to mention right now that the level that you see on, 
on OpenSea right here, this is the same one, CF furlough, it says uh, level 11, but actually is level 21. So it's a little outdated. It does take a couple of days to, to kind of catch up. But right now I do have uh, CF furlough and I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to call it. So I, I use this little, little button right here and it calls it and it starts following you. So you guys see it right here. There she is. So let me actually zoom in to show you guys. There she is right there. <laughs> so I see a furlough. So I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to win. Now that I've raised the, the, the uh, level on my Ethermont, how easy it is to win each battle. So let me just, uh, actually, I'm going to go to this one, attack. So I'm literally just going to press the throw button and boom, that was that, that quick. And as soon as I win, of course, there's some little green bags. I click on that. I got a mark and I got a silver ticket. And like I mentioned before, the silver tickets go right here on the left side. You see the number and then you see the marks on the right side. So that just goes to show you why it's important to increase the level of your Ethermont. And when you do increase the level of the Ethermont, the course of value goes up because, you know, as soon as you start battling these uh, slime, it's so simple, you know, it's so simple. And actually, let me just show you and try to battle all these, you know, just show you how simple it is. Now I have a, a high, see, boom. And I'm just going to continue to battle these really quickly and let the, the bags kind of connect and literally just battle these bad boys. Boom, that quick. And the reason why is because my, uh, my uh, CF furlough is a level, um, actually, let me, let me battle this one. It's a level, 20, a level 21 on the central land. So because of level 21, the central line, hey, I just got to use a quick throw and boom, I win right away, you know? So that is the reason why, you know, it is important to hire a higher level on your Ethermont NFT because the higher level they are, you know, hey, you could just literally win this battles really quickly on the central line. And even on, in 2D, you could win this battles really quickly too, actually. Let me see the next one. I'm gonna battle, try to battle this one. Actually, give me this one right here. Attack this bad boy. Ooh, see that? No more, uh, looks like I have no more energy. So I guess I gotta, you know, collect some energy or change my, see a hundred marks, 10 silver tickets right there. Nice. So let me collect these grand bags. So every time I win a battle, I do get some uh, silver tickets. See six silver tickets, 50 marks, nice. Let me see this one. I got six silver tickets, 50 marks. Let me see if there's any other green bags, no more. So it looks like uh, my CF furlough, they run it out of energy. So I do either have to change it to another e uh, Ethermon or continue to battle. So, you know, let me, I, I have been training other Ethermon. So let me see what else I got. I wanna just kind of show you guys how easy it is. And actually this Kendrick is level one. It doesn't really have a lot of energy. Uh, let me see. I have also been trying to raise a, the, the uh, let me see, where's hamster? Hamster, uh, I've been also uh, increasing the, the level on the central land. So let me see if I can find it. Here it is. It's on level one too. So it looks like actually, yeah, it's not at level one. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Bubbles. Bubbles level three. So let me do bub bubble since it has a higher level. Um, and again, the way to increase the level of your Ethermont is literally just by battling. So sometimes you may win, sometimes you may lose. And I'm going to start very the lowest level. So you got level three, because I do have a, a actually. Actually, where is bubbles right here? There you go. So I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, not enough life. Okay, so it looks like bubbles doesn't have enough energy. So again, guys, uh, the way to increase your energy is if you do collect, you know, collect some crops. All you have to do is click on these and then start. You know, I guess you could say you um you. Let's see. Let me put this one. There you go. You put them in the garden let them grow and then once they're done you pick them up and then you use them to feed your ethermon and that usually gives them energy and so they are able to battle so let me see why can't i 
use my ham hamster uh, my bubbles says not enough life <laughs> so it looks like my bubbles is pretty much done so um you know i do have this for a minute so let me just see if i could dig let's see if uh, i could at least if anything just use my there it is it's digging right now uh let me get like a vegetable hey i got a beet seed it's not bad um and i'm gonna just continue to dig with bubbles to at least get something out of it you know there you go uh got another beet seed and i'm gonna continue to dig so pretty much guys um i did wanted to kind of battle more uh but after a couple battles uh one thing you always kind of keep in mind is you do lose energy so of course one of the strategies that i do talk about in one of my videos is to plant these uh, cucumbers, these vegetables, and then use that to give energy to your ethermon so you could kind of, you know, pretty much battle them again. So I'm just going to continue just to, while well, that kind of like, you know, finishes planting, I'm just going to continue to use bubbles and keep digging, digging until pretty much all energy is exhausted. Oh, look at this one. This should be a marks, I believe. Oh, cabbage. Nice. That's a lot of energy, actually, but that takes 15 minutes to, to load up. So it looks like I've, I've already wasted all the energy. So I'm gonna go back to, I'm gonna go back to CF furloughed because CF furlough has level 21 on the central land. And now that the uh, cucumber is ready, I am gonna give it to CF furloughed. There it is, it's eating it right now. And let's see if I do have some energy now to battle. Oh, there you go. So use that. Boom. Done. So I just finished this guy. Let me see if I could battle this one. See if I have energy for this one. Oh, not enough energy. So I almost feel like I got to continue to feed my, uh, my ethermon to get more energies. So I, I just want to end this video by showing you guys you know, how you could continue to give more energy to your ethermon to so continue to battle it by growing these plants, these vegetables on this garden. Um, and that's pretty much how you do it, guys. So and again, guys, um, a reminder, guys, you know, the higher the level your ethermon, the more value they are, because especially if you increase the value of your ethermon in the central line by battling them, et cetera, et cetera, you can literally beat the slime ethermon really quickly with one throw attack and they're done. And then you can collect the rewards, collect the silver tickets, collect the marks. And again, those, of course, Eventually, you'll be able to exchange for Ethermont, upgrade your Ethermont, all that kind of stuff. And again, the higher level your Ethermont, the more value there are because you can win more great, awesome stuff. Hope this video makes sense, guys. If any questions, don't forget to ask down below in the YouTube comments. Again, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below to the YouTube channel. You guys will hear from me soon. Take care, guys.